Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Magic Pay Evil Control Clover application and how to set it up on your device. The first thing you want to do is log into your Clover device and before actually downloading the app you want to go into your setup area and make sure that you set up the following tax rates. The city tax has to be a 1%, reduced state tax at 6% and state tax has to be at 0%. If those three do not show up on your Clover, the Magic Pay Evil Control application will not work properly, okay? The next thing you wanna do is download the Magic Pay app from the Clover app market. Once you open the app, this is the screen you're gonna see. You're gonna click on settings, click choose your language, click on yes, here, your business name, city, state, and zip code will auto-populate from Clover. And then the remaining information you might need to input yourself. Uh, the merchant ID should also be available already. So the email address, the terminal number, if you're not sure what it is, just put the number one in there. And then merchant tax ID, that's, that's your Puerto Rican tax ID. Merchant category code, if you're not sure what that is, you need to ask your merchant processor. It's a four digit code. Uh, it's, a code it's also called an SIC code. And then your Puerto Rican merchant registration certificate number. It's usually the same as your merchant tax ID. So we put this copy tax ID button that you can just copy this field over here. And then you click on submit. Now, if you have set up the tax rates correctly, this is the message that you're supposed to be getting. You click on exit, and now we are all ready to start using our application. So I'm gonna show you a demo of how it works. It's gonna generate the receipt. And as you can see, the evil control number is printed right on the bottom of the receipt and there is also a QR code that the customer can use. I'm also gonna do a test for you with a credit card so you can see how a credit card works. So I'll put my card right here below. Generating the evil control number on the receipt and then it prints the receipt automatically. And as you can see, the evil control number is printed on the bottom. And again, there is the QR code right over here.